Christmas my true love gave to me Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying Five, five golden rings To make this sugar scrub you will need Coffee Vanilla extract Cinnamon Baking soda Brown sugar and some kind of oil. I chose olive oil. You'll also need measuring cups and measuring spoons, a mixing bowl, a container for your scrub, and things to decorate it, like Sharpies and labels. My container can hold about a cup, so first I'm gonna use a half a cup of coffee, a half a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then just mix it all together. Not only do all of these products lend to the scent of a coffee kind of scrub, but also coffee grounds are known to get rid of cellulite. Brown sugar is awesome as a moisturizer and as an exfoliant. The baking soda helps with cleansing, and the cinnamon and vanilla add to the scent. Once your mixture is all evenly combined and looks a little something like this, you can start to add in your oil. Today I chose to use olive oil, which is great for dry skin because it moisturizes and isn't known to cause any kind of allergic reactions. I know sometimes people can be allergic to coconut oil or other oils like that, so I really like to using olive oil. I'm just gonna keep adding oil until it looks a little something like this or to the consistency that you want it. And also, this is when it starts smelling so good. Once your scrub is to the consistency that you want it, I started adding mine to my container. Like I said, my container holds about a cup, so it fit all of my scrub in, right in it, and I just patted it down and then added the lid. For my label, I like using these black labels and metallic sharpies because I feel they kind of almost look like chalk, but they're much easier to work with. On my label, I drew a little coffee cup with some coffee in it and a little bit of steam coming off, and then just wrote on it vanilla latte sugar scrub. You want to give your label a couple minutes to dry and also wash your hands and make sure they're extra dry just so you don't smear your writing. Then add your label to the front of your container and you're all set. I think this kind of gift is great for any time of the year and it smells so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. On this screen you can click on yesterday's video where we made a card holder wreath or you can click on that 2014 playlist and that will show you all of the videos from this year's 12 Days of Christmas. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!